everybody, welcome to Mary's Make Shop. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set X and Y part zeros as well as a tool change. Um, in the next video, I'll be showing you how to set Z part zeros using a tool touch off. So in Intercon, I just made this rounded corner uh, rectangle with a rectangle inside of it. It's about three inches um, thick. Intercon's great. Um, you can make whole slots really quickly right in CNC 12 and this was under 50 kilobytes. So if you didn't have Pro, you could run it too. So with my caliper, I just measured out half of three, which is 1.5 inches, so that I could set the center um, of my part in the Y axis. So then from the front of the part, um, I'm just going to make a uh, line with my pencil of where the center of the Y is. And then for the X, first I'm just gonna measure how uh, thick my block actually is. And let's see. So I get 4.7. So then the center of that would be half of 4.7. Doesn't have to be perfect for what I'm doing. Um, so 2.35 um, should be good for the center of the x axis. So I set that to about 2.35. And then from one of the left or right edges, I'm going to measure from with my caliper and just make that line to cross where I set my Y center line. So then the center of those two lines is where the center of my part is. So then going into CNC 12, you hit setup and then you go to part and this will allow you to set your part zero. Um, so you select axis with F1 and then jog to touch off on part. So really what that means is you wanna jog to that center of um, your two lines. So right now my cutter is actually a corner round tool, which isn't the easiest to see where the uh, point is of the tool, but I like a good challenge, um, but I'm sure you'll be a lot faster than I was uh, doing this. I had to check it multiple times um, to, to really just be in the right angle to see if I was right over my line. So just a little bit of, you know, moving the X, um, going faster or slower. I also put Z down a little bit lower so I could kind of see in reference to where that line was. So once you've jogged right over that center line, um, what you're gonna do in CNC 12, you're gonna hit set and that's gonna set your X zero to where um, your tool currently is. So there you can see that that was accepted. Then you just change next axis for the Y, hit set again. Um, so there you can see the X, Y are set to zero and Z is not, but in the next video, I'll be showing you how to do that as well. So with our intercon piece, um, you can see that's loaded up in job name. So we're just going to go for it and hit start. So in Intercon, they usually puts, well, actually always puts going to your um, X, Y, zero position. Um, so this is a really good check to make sure, hey, this really is the center of the part that I meant to do. So that looked good. Um, but then it's gonna go to the home position for a tool change. Um, so I'm actually gonna show you a tool change. I know this is actually the cutter I needed. Um, but yeah, just a really nice little cue there saying change your tool. So to remove the tool, I'm just going to take two wrenches, go around that bolt and um, go pull the wrenches toward each other to loosen it um, and make sure that collet opens up a little bit so the shank just falls out. So this is a corner round tool, quarter inch corner round tool, um, and the shank is also quarter inch. Um, but that doesn't always happen. Sometimes, like for example, this cutter here, um, this is a half inch straight flute but it has a quarter inch shank so that's kind of good to know but because both of my shanks are the same diameter i don't have to change out the collet so then you just slide that in there and hand tighten that bolt just enough to hold it so that when you're you know tightening it with your wrenches um, it's not going to fall out so that's a tool change but that is it for this video Definitely check out part two because I'm going to be showing you how to set your Z zeros using a tool touch off um, with a macro that somebody uploaded into the Centroid Acorn forum. All right. Thanks so much and catch you on the next one.